G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Thanks for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we have a new tank to show you. It's a very interesting tank for two reasons. First of all, the filtration. Second of all, there's an interesting type of coral reproduction happening in this tank. Let's go have a look at this tank now. This tank is 5 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet. It holds around about 550 litres and is lit with a Kessels and two Hydra 32s. It's an interesting tank in the types of corals that are in here and the first thing you'll notice are these massive Pacillopora colonies. Now there's two colours of the Pacillopora. There's the purple and there's the green. Interestingly, the Pacillopora has effectively taken over this tank and we'll look more closely at the Pacillopora in a sec, but let's have a look at the filtration on this system because it's a little bit different from most of the tanks that we work on at Gallery Aquatica. You'll notice that there is no overflow on this tank. So there's no sump on this tank. Now that presents a couple of uh, challenges, and the first is the protein skimmer. Most of the protein skimmers on the market are designed to sit inside the sump and so if you don't have a sump to accommodate your skimmer you have to look at other options and so in this case there's a tuns and it's running at the water level you can see that there is this weir combing the water is drawn down there so it is effectively surface skimming and i would say it's maybe over skimming slightly the waste is a little bit dilute but otherwise it looks like it's doing a pretty good job now the second challenge when you've got when you don't have a sump is how do you dose the tank and so with this tank it's dosed manually straight into the, the tank itself and another interesting thing is that this tank is running an automatic top up system you can see the tuns with the sensor just here at the surface and that's feeding fresh water into the tank the majority of the corals in this tank are the Pacillopora and the SBS there are a couple of what we call LPS the hammer coral, there's some chalice, there's also some corellomorphs in this tank. Now there's three types of coral reproduction happening in this tank. The first is division, so asexual reproduction through division. And interestingly, the corellomorphs and the rhodactus are displaying this really well at the moment. It's quite clear that these two red rhodactus have split from each other. The second type of coral reproduction, which we can see in this tank, is reproduction through fragmentation. Now, fragging is something that aquarists will often do with their corals. Break little bits off and regrow them on a frag plug or somewhere else in the tank. But this also happens naturally on the reef. And there's a bit of an example of that here. There's what I would say a naturally reproduced frag on the bottom of the tank. So part of the Pacillopora has broken off, possibly through uh, an aquarist's hand in the tank. But you can see that this will become another colony in itself if left in this position. But the third and most interesting type of coral reproduction in this tank is actually sexual reproduction. Now there's a few examples of this tank, of this type of reproduction in this tank, and we can see the Pacillopora are actually growing all over the sides of the tank. This tank has had and does have incredibly strong coral and algae growth, and the Pacillopora has actually spawned, released its spawn out into the tank, and they've adhered to the coral line on the back, on the sides, on the bottom of the tank, and started to form new colonies. Now one of the reasons why this tank is uh, so prolific with the amount of Pacillopora that is sexually reproducing in this tank is because of the size of the colonies. There are these massive colonies of Pacillopora and large colonies are much more inclined to actually sexually reproduce like this in the tank. So it's a really interesting tank. Uh, I think you could also argue that the turbo snails are breeding like crazy. So there's a lot of reproduction happening in this tank. So today we're here to do a service on this tank. So we're going to start with a water change and uh, we'll go from there.
Today we're here to do a water change on this tank and I've got the hose ready, we're about to start draining. We're planning to take about two thirds of the water out, replacing it with natural seawater that we've got in the IBC on the back of the Colorado, conveniently just outside that door. So we'll get it draining. It's always important to ensure that where the candy cane goes is safe in the tank because we don't really want to frag any of these corals accidentally. And there's so many Pacillopora, you can see them in the corners and they're on the sides that we want to make sure we don't knock any of these off. Alright, take this outside. This is going to be perfect. It's a one hose job, so I'm going to start draining and use the same hose to refill the tank. Now we've filled up the tank, we just have to turn on the wave makers and pack up the gear. So that's it, the water change has been done, everything is looking happy and healthy and when I do a water change of this size I always like to keep an eye on the fish to make sure that they're not stressing, panting, breathing heavily. The corals are already starting to come out, you can see a lot of the zoas, the blastos, the LPS are sort of opening back up again, so everything is good. Um, and that's pretty much it for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all your likes and comments. So, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing! So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy and keep on reefing.